So I've been asked quite a few times, how do I decorate my journals? So I thought I'd pop along and show you how I am decorating this one. You haven't seen it, it's not something you've missed. So don't worry. This is one I've been working on sort of on my own because I don't know how many journals you actually want to see me make. And I'm just thinking about putting this bit of paper I did start this video already and then realised that my camera was slowly doing a dive like this and <laughs> yeah you didn't get any this is like um, a book just a book page and it had these really cool prints on so I ripped one off like you do and I'm thinking of making this bit of collage on here because when you put envelopes in you got one side which is somewhere there so you've got this little flappy bit which i'll do something with in a minute and then you've got this which is quite awkward to get things in and out of so what i tend to do is snip off this outside edge i'm sure you've all done this and i i'm just thinking about covering up that bit i could even make it into a little pocket couldn't I? Oh, I could make it into a pocket. I just need another piece. Or an envelope of some kind. I've got loads of little scraps. I showed these at the beginning of the other video. <laughs> They're dive bombed. Um, yeah, so I've got all these little bits that I want to use. And I'm trying to limit myself to like little pieces that I've already got out. See, like this, just scraps. Do you know me? I'm forever using up scraps. It seems to be all I do at the moment. Um, yeah, so I think that will look quite cool on there. You can do collage on top of there, but I think... Oh, do you know what? What I might do... This is this is how I work, guys. This is... This is me. Oh, I'll do this. Oh, no, I won't. I'll do this. So... I'm going to move that up just up there. Otherwise, I'm going to get right, right stuck, I am. Right stuck. And I'm thinking if I cover that, but leave this one like that, then that will make a super strong little pocket. What do you think? I think that will be perfect. So we're going to attach them together. I may sew them, actually, in a minute. I don't know. I'll have a think. I'll have a think while I'm gluing. Do I want to sew? Might stick quite well to this book page. And then I'll have to go off again. I just stick this page down a bit. Because you don't have to decide anything. You can just, just play. I tend to just get out a few bits like i've got out we've got a super thick you know pocket there so that will go onto there like that so you've got a pocket here and then you've got this bit here now i always strengthen these because i always think they're quite fragile so i'm not let me just think what i can strengthen them with and i'm I'm looking at this, but it's not right. Maybe some washi tape. That's what I usually use. Or you can use strips of paper. Or we've, I've even got some proper edging. But I'm thinking some sort of blue. <laughs> Look, it's just, it just falls into place. I... Just journals just take on a life of their own. Now, because this is washi tape, we don't trust washi tape at all. We just don't <laughs> because it doesn't actually stick that well. So I always give it a bit of a help with, with a glue stick or wet glue or, you know, anything. Whatever you've got handy. Just in case. Oh, so we're not going to be able to use blue on the other side, are we? 
we've got a different colour on the other side. So we'll have to trim it. Now, I think that strengthens that pocket edge because if you're taking things in and out, you don't want it to be floppy. Now, I can't put that blue on there because this is more of a pink, green, purpley sort of colour. Um, I've got some green, wrong green. I've got this is this is my box of washi tape. <laughs> this is this is it. My daughter gave me this box, but look, it was breaking. I'm gutted. I'm gutted, guys. Nope. Um, green. Oh, that green looks quite nice. Too bright. I'm having trouble. What's these ones? No, it's not that green, is it? It's a. It's not. Maybe we'll stick to pink. Mm, too bright purple. Oh, what about this? That will match that, won't it? That will do. That'll do. Let's just do some more. Oh, I think I'll put that glue in it in. Now I'm just protecting the page. And I add this on. There we go. I better put the lid on. I'm really good at remembering to put lids on. No. And we're going to put that one down there. And it's as easy as that. So that pocket is pretty much done. Let's move the washi tape out of the way because I don't want to get loads and loads of stuff out. I want to use what I've got. So we need a big tag we're going to have to make to go in there. So we're going to put this on here and all you need to do, sorry, I'm rabbiting on 10 to the dozen as normal, is I'm just going to glue around the edges like you would in a pocket. I'm not going to go right up close to the page either, just in case I, you know, get it, it tends to get stuck. So you don't want to do that. So this serves two purposes. Obviously, it closes up that gap and it also stops anything falling through because you've closed it up with the pocket. Clever, huh? I know, I'm not the first person to do it. So you've got a tag. So you'll have one pocket there, obviously. And then this one. No, that's obviously too big. But you get the idea. Now... We're going to go, I'm not going to decorate them or anything yet. We're going to go to the other side, wherever that is, and we're going to deal with this. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this to me is just like, oh, <laughs> flappy little bit of paper. There's a couple of things I would do in this situation. The first thing would be, I would automatically think I'm going to cover it with another envelope because you've got that envelope caught like pocket bit and if you join those two together you've just got that which you can decorate up and then when you open it you've got your pocket and then when that shuts still you just decorate this with some of this color and you would be it would be really cute you can of course just stick it down along the bottom and it can be a little tuck spot here or Another thing you could do is get a piece of paper and just make another page. So you get something that's coordinated. I've got this green dyed paper. Now I think this colour it goes better. So I'm gonna I would put this on here like that. You could still do the pocket if you wanted to on there. And then you've got a whole other page in here. It doesn't have to be the whole size. You could have a smaller page. It doesn't have to cover the whole page. In fact, I think I'll do that. So there's a couple of options for what to do with the, the other bit. The other bit of this. So let's do that while, we're, while we've got it ready. Um, shall we just... I'm just going to stick it all down. 
I think it might not hold very well if I if I leave a pocket as well. Okay, I've moved my glue so I don't keep stretching across. Right, let's just get this in sort of centralised. Pop that in. Put that on there. And I think that would be a lovely little journaling spot. You go, oh, what's this? Oh, more journaling space. Perfect. I like that. I might let that dry a minute before I do any more. So what else have I got to do? Uh, I've got lots. I've got a pocket here, a bag. I've got another pocket. I've got to put loads of tags I've got to make for this. Um, I've got, a, did I have another page I wanted to make something? I don't know, yeah, I don't think so. I think I'm almost done. I'm going to leave this one quite blank. Um, I think this is too bright for this. This needs something else on it. Obviously I'll be decorating it. I quite like this. It's just some vellum that I've torn off. But I'm thinking of putting it on. There's a tuck somewhere, not on that one, because I've decorated that page edge. Maybe on there, can't write on that. You, Any of these that have got writing on, you can just gesso. But I think it'd be quite cool as like a pocket on there. Now I'm going to use my three and one because I think it dries better on the vellum. So any scraps you've got, can be this is quite a tough vellum it's not thin i think this one came from like a card makers pack that i found at my car boot obviously nothing is new <laughs> pretty much nothing in my crafting world i source it all you know as much as i can thrifting and then just Use my imagination to put it together. There we go, another pocket. See, I've, I'm not sure whether I like putting these in. I think that needs something else as well, but I don't know. I don't know. We will see. Oh, this one. This was something else I was going to put in. This is too much for me. This we made in one of my... One of, one of my videos back back way back way back when and I'm, I'm in an hour about putting this on here but i'm i'm really not sure whether these sort of go i put loads on i've already put loads of bits in here as you can see oh i could put it on there that might look quite nice And then you've got so many tuck spots. This was this was like a multi-pocketed, multi-pocketed pocket. And it was just made out of magazines. I'm going to pop that onto there. Just like that. So I guess I'm going to have to have a tag making afternoon when we put all the all the tags in. Make all the tags. But that's the fun bit, isn't it? Um, tissue. I've got I've got leakage. I've got leakage of glue. Now I do have this I want to put in somewhere. This is like a handmade um, vintage envelope. Obviously tea dyed, stained up and I've just added stamps and writing on it because I thought it looks quite cool. I want to put this somewhere. I think there would be good. And I'm just going to tuck that on the edge like that. 
But what I do want to do is I've got some of these pieces of ephemera. I think, if I'm not mistaken, these are Artemis. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn them into um, biting paper. So I'm just going to use one of them. I can put the other one in somewhere else. And I've got a feeling this was out of... I, can't, I don't know if it was a freebie or whether I bought one of her kits and it was on that. I'm not quite sure. I can't remember. So I'm very sorry, Andrea. I can't remember. But I know it was from you. <laughs> so a bit white on the back, do you think? I think we need to, like, do something to just take that edge off. So first thing, I'm just going to a bit more around the edge because my envelope is quite grungy and old. And you can get do the same with like writing paper, you know, any bits of writing paper you've got. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do some this stenciling. I've just got this one's on the desk. So this is the one that's going on. And I'm just going to do some bits of, just to take away the edge of the whiteness. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. And it'd be nice if that fitted, wouldn't it? Oh, oh look at that. Made to measure. Sort of, ish. <laughs> Not quite. I'll have to trim it down if I want that to work. Oh, almost. Do you know what? I think I will. I think I'll trim it down because I think it would look lovely. Sacrilege. Hopefully that's enough. Let's check. And I know it's torn and battered, but that's the whole point. That is perfect. Just re-ink that edge. could also just quickly go around the other side of this one and this is still perfectly good right in space so I'm going to slide that into there and I'm going to need a safety pin to clip this onto there like that I've got multitude of colours what colour shall we have? Um, I think we'll go for the plain, maybe plain silver. The green's a bit, bit green. I don't know. Let's use the green one. And I'll probably put some sort of tassel, you know, dangly thing on that. So that's basically what I'm going to do. I just go through the book, look at a page, I think, oh, that could do with a bit more embellishing. Like here, I probably want to put something now because I put some at that side. Or I could just put some writing paper on that side. Um, what have I got? See, I've only got these bits. I'm limited. I'm limited. I could tuck this in as a tuck spot because I or just gesso it that's what we could do why is that bubbly oh yeah because <laughs> I've got that on god how long ago did I make that so long yeah you wouldn't want to write on that that's that's quite a bumpy bit you could write on this side though so I could gesso this side I'm not going to show you how to gesso it's just painting this beautiful kit. This is definitely, she says, definitely, I think. Oh, Imaze. <laughs> right, so I'm going to make some tags. Don't know where I got to. We got really distracted then because we have a little furry white visitor. If you want me to come back and show you some more putting bits in, let me know in the comments and I'll see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now, guys.